Hello and welcome to the Tottenham America channel. Today we will be reacting to Netherlands 2-0 win over host Qatar as they confirmed their top spot in Group A and a spot in the knockout rounds of this 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar thanks to goals from Gakpo and De Jong starting with the 26-minute strike from Cody Gakpo. Cody Gakpo who scored in the 26th minute increases his goal tally to three this World Cup, scoring in three consecutive matches, which is all three of Netherlands group stage games, when he took Davy Klaassen's pass into his stride and fired his shot into the bottom right corner and gave Netherlands the lead. Cody Gakpo, the PSV striker, is in very good form right now for Netherlands. Netherlands were quite quiet for the rest of We saw an increase in the tempo and a goal from Frankie de Jong in the 49th minute to give them a secure 2-0 lead over the hosts and no chance for Qatar to come back now. De Jong scored on the rebound after Klaassen whipped across to the back post that found Depay who fired at goal to make a Great save out of Barsham, the Qatari goalkeeper, but De Jong was first to the rebound and steered his strike into an empty net. And host Qatar, who are the first nation to lose for both of the opening two fixtures as a host nation, to lose both of them and go out in the group stage, have added to that tally and made it three losses out of three games. While Netherlands continue to the next round, where they will play the United States of America after their tight win against um, Iran in their Group B encounter. So Netherlands versus the United States is it going to be a fixture to watch. That game, I believe, will be on sa uh, Sunday, Saturday, sorry, Saturday, December 3rd at 10 a.m. Eastern. That's going to be a big match for both sides. But Netherlands, I think, are kind of lucky to get past this stage, in my opinion. Yeah, Netherlands having probably the easiest group in um uh in out of any group. I wouldn't say it's easy as for the other teams. It's just Qatar that's making it easy for them. That's almost like an easy fixture, almost like a free win. Yeah. Playing against Qatar. And every team won against them, uh Ecuador, Senegal and Qatar. But the close part was Ecuador and Senegal. It, was, it wasn't really a question who was going to top the group at the beginning. Everyone thought uh, Netherlands would top the group, but the question really was who was going to finish second. Yeah. Um, Netherlands realistically should have gotten three wins out of three in this group. That draw to Ecuador was quite surprising. And even today, despite their win and despite their domination, they really should have scored more considering how much possession they had. Um, they found it very hard to break down a back line, which is why USA versus Netherlands is going to be a very interesting match. I think it'll be very close, and USA will have a big chance to get to the next round because the Dutch just look very uninspiring compared to how they should be looking right now. They should be looking a lot better. Yeah, uh, Netherlands should be looking a lot better, but um, Cody Gakpo doing really well for them right now, scoring three goals already out of their three group stage games. I think he's really shining and he's really their star boy. And he's going to be an important player for Netherlands going into the knockout stages. Yeah, there's no chance he stays at PSV over the January transfer window. He is probably going to find a move to a top five league in Europe. Um, as for Qatar, not surprised with their performance again. You know, they're just dominated by the other team. Um, in all honesty, they really had no chance in this World Cup. They are by far the worst side in the World Cup right now. The only in because of their um, qualification as hosts. Um, but not really an inspiring performance to, for many people. Um, and three losses out of three, they go home with simply a World Cup appearance in their books. Netherlands will be looking to have a much better performance against USA. Yeah, Netherlands need to step up their game for the knockout stages. Um, not just for USA. They need to, if they want to get past USA in the first place, they have to step up their game. Yeah. Because better teams will finish off the opportunities that they get that they get against Netherlands. Netherlands nearly lost against Ecuador, but they were saved by VAR after 
um, I believe it was Estupinian goal was disallowed because one of the Ecuadorian players was blocking the line of sight of Noper in goal for Netherlands. So yep. they nearly lost against Ecuador. Yeah. So they really have to step up the game for the knockout stages. And if they do beat the United States, they could uh, face the winner of Argentina if they win tomorrow and Denmark or Australia, whoever goes through. Most likely Argentina would win that fight and then it would be Argentina versus Netherlands. They'd need a much better performance to win that match. Uh, but this is what Group A looks like after today's fixtures, the last round of fixtures in the group stage of the World Cup. Netherlands are on top, seven points, win uh, uh, unbeaten in their three games of the group stage, two wins, one draw, seven points, advancing to the knockout stages. Senegal get through on a tight win against Ecuador, two goals to one, two wins, one loss, they go through on six points. Ecuador, who put in some incredible performances, lose out by just two points, and a narrow defeat to Senegal today. They're on one win, one draw, one loss. And Qatar, the host nation, are on zero points in fourth place. Three losses straight. But that is it for our reaction to Netherlands versus Qatar. If you enjoyed, make sure you smash the subscribe button. If you want to see more World Cup content, make sure you like the video and comment down below. And until next time, come on, you Spurs!